okay the next topic after creating the sales view for customer master is creating the sales view for material master similar to what we have done for customer master we have must also create a sales view for the material master so that that material can be sold to customers without creating a sales view for material master we cannot sell that good to customers it will not be available in sales order creation so let us do that now we need to go to mm01 or, or follow this menu path to go to mm01 materials management material master material create and go to finished product because normally we will sell only finished products we will not be selling semi finished or raw materials so choose finished product so you can see here create finished product initial screen I have already created a material earlier for plant New York we can make use of that if you have not created any material please follow our material management training videos to create a material before proceeding with this since this is not a material management training video I will not be showing how to create a material I will only show how to extend a sales view for existing materials which has which are already been created so this material has already been created and uh, choose retail because I've created this material under retail sector and select views these are three important views that you need to create for any material in order to make it a saleable product as you can see clearly here all these three views have been prefix with uh, indicator sales which means they are sales related once you enter the necessary data in these three views this material will become available in the SD module to be used in sales orders so I'm going to show you how to do that select all three and click OK enter the plan NY and uh, sales organization choose NY as well from the list and distribution channel is RE retail and click OK so we're going to extend the data for this particular sales area sales organization NY and distribution channel RE there's no need to actually further filter by the division because mature material master which is created for sales organization and distribution channel will be available for all the divisions so there's no further filtration required however if you still need a uh, further subdivision by division you can make use of this field division here so you can uh, subdivide that uh, whatever information that you are going to enter here is only applicable for laptop okay so enter base unit to measure PC and uh, all the other fields I'm not going to explain all, all the all the fields here because it's a little bit too much to explain I'm going to move on with minimum fields some of the things that you need to enter is that minimum order quantity minimum delivery quantity and stuff like that one of the important field is this delivering plant if you enter a delivering plant here as NY or WH for Washington the moment you enter this material in the sales order the delivering plant will be auto defaulted in the sales order so so that you don't have to enter a separate one so we are telling the system is that uh, this material is only available in this plant and should be delivered from this plant whenever we are raising a sales order for these two combination if you want to leave it blank and uh, get the sales clerk to fill it up during the sales order you can leave it blank as well Kay, let's move on to next section but it's requiring re requesting us to key in the tax classification let me key in one taxable and move move on this is desktops right so let me choose desktops here 
it's already been defaulted I should have chosen uh, desktops here DK let me quit and come back I don't want to save this 1247 press enter choose the sales view go in and Y plant and Y and uh, RE same thing that you have entered so choose the division as desktop so that makes more sense delivering plant let's say NY so that we can see the delivering plant is auto defaulted in the sales order and one more thing is whether it's taxable or tax exempted going to the next view go before I go into the second view in the sales let me just show you two more important fields which will be useful minimum order quantity which means that the minimum order that this customer can order which means that since we have not mentioned any customer all the customers under sales organization NY will inherit the fields here so if I specify 100 units this means that all the customers under the sales organization must order a minimum of 100 units in the sales order if I enter 90 in the sales order when the minimum order quantity is 100 here if I enter 90 in the sales order the system will issue an error message similarly for delivery quantity I can set a unit here to specify what is the minimum delivery quantity that can be shipped to a customer at one time if I have entered 40 here if I ship 30 units in the delivery document the system will not allow me to do so because we have an agreement with the customer that each shipment will have at least 40 units of this product based on the settings here so this is how we can use these two fields and uh, let's go to the second view let me see which are the important fields here so there's nothing I can think of as important at this juncture let me go to the next plan I mean next view which is uh, plan specific uh, information that's why if you not notice the sales organization distribution channel in these two views because whatever information that we enter here in these two section is pertaining to these two sales organization NY and RE sorry not two sales organization uh, sales organization and distribution channel combination however when I go to this view here the sales organization distribution channel is removed because whatever information I could enter here is plant specific so I don't have to enter different values for different sales organization and distribution channel so as you can see here these fields are all plant specific but still related to sales yeah still related to sales uh, data but it is it can be entered at the plant level such information such as gross weight net weight and uh, let me see which are the packaging type and uh, these two fields are related to packaging let us not discuss about these fields here because it will be too much to consume you know, the whole objective of this uh, training video is that we have to learn the minimum possible information just good enough for us to get started but later on when you when you are familiar with the SAP system you can come and investigate each and every fields here on the actual usage but one of the important uh, uh, field that I can uh, uh, try to recall here is the loading group that we have discussed and le at length when we were on this topic here define shipping point determination and loading point and loading group we have discussed at length about loading group so that loading group is entered here in the plant specific uh, 
transaction but still related to sales so this means that this product has to be loaded using a crane so let me save it now okay it is saved so we have extended this material for sales usage and if I want to change it I can go back I can go to change mode choose immediate and press enter and choose these three views and I can go in enter NY enter NY enter RE and I can come here right you can do the changes and save it this is how you change